into the top eight of PTL Open 3. Welcome, welcome. Return of the PTL Open. I am joined, as, as always, it's myself, uh, Sumit, the voice of the PTL Open, and I'm joined by Big Joe Silva. Thank you all for having me. Thank you for joining us today. Mm-hmm. Um, so we can get right into it here. We got some of our PTL locals rocking some interesting and fun lists here. Joe, you are a good big fan of Four Ship Rebels yourself. I certainly am. So how about you take us through Aaron D's list then? All right. So we got Wedge Antilles with Crack Shot. Uh, this is obviously a Rebel staple. I It's been a long time since I've seen a Rebel list without it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, Jake Farrell, uh, Crack Shot as well. Uh, solid little, uh, solid little blocker or solid little uh, support ship if he needed to, and he's been known to do a few things. Crack shot will see him get at least a few hits in there. Mm -hmm. uh, then you've got two U wings, uh, big old beefy ships. Uh, I've found them to be very, very versatile. Real, uh, real kind of Swiss Army knife ships um, with perceptive co-pilot on Banthic two tubes, so he's going to be a great support ship as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then you've got Leia Organa on Hef, which is great. There, there's nothing wrong here. Like, I'm seeing a lot of versatility. I'm seeing a lot of beef to chew through. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing a lot of hitting power coming back at you once you do. Yeah, there's a lot of that Rebel synergy going on yep. and a lot of uh, efficiency, uh, which makes all Rebel beef or yeah. Rebel four ships really, really effective. Yep, absolutely. Hef Tobler with his ability. He's going to be a great, what, third support ship in, mm -hmm. in a way if he, if he can get a coordinate action out. When someone runs into him, mm -hmm. and Benthic, he's he's handing out focus like it's candy. Jake's doing the same thing. Like there, there's a lot going on here. Yeah, so we'll walk through Christian's adorably janky, amazing <laughs> list that like only he ever puts together. Of uh, course, he loves making incredibly <clears throat> oblique and interesting uh, empire builds. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, I don't think I've seen anybody else ever be able to build a four ship rebel <laughs> empire list with the defender in it. <laughs> oh, so and what a list it is! I know he's so he's rocking the Onyx Squadron Ace that's uh, got itself a crack shot. And yep. anybody who knows me knows how much I love defenders. Um, Seventh Sister is uh, quite as potent as we know. Tie advanced prototypes have been amazing with the, with the force and. Her ability can prove pretty nasty. She gets yeah. a lucky range one shot in. Yep. Being able to a pseudo, so, pseudo crack shot you is pretty powerful. Yeah, and the, the seven, and the seven sister, excuse me, is really a, a good sleeper. Like that, you don't expect anything out of this little uh, high edge, good force, uh, always tokened up ship. But man, once like it gets these little opportunities with the pilot ability that just really catch you off guard. Mm -hmm. The real sleeper to Christian's list here are those two Tempest squadrons, which people... Oh, these think, aren't sleepers, man. These are killers. Well, if you haven't these played against killers. them, you would think that, oh, it's not Vader, so I don't have to worry about it. But people forget now, once those Tempests get their target locks, they're oh, yeah. a dog with a they, bone. They, yeah, absolutely. They can throw four, is, they can throw four yep. dice at range one if yep. you're not careful. Absolutely. And you were saying that you actually played Christian in yeah. the top... Yeah, so the uh, I played this. Christian in round one of this tournament, mm -hmm. uh, and this exact list is what I played... I believe, what did I play him with? I played him with a resistance list. Mm -hmm. And I had the pilot skill van advantage on him everywhere. And he, it, it was a it was a close game. I, I think I did okay by myself. But man, I, I learned the hard way about the tie advance and the seventh sister. Yeah. The defender was a known factor for me. And yeah. it's just a monster all the time. Yeah. So it looks like it's interesting that Christian's going to look, he likes to have that big wide net. Yeah. that gives him tons of <clears> options to go wherever he wants to go. Yep. And it looks like um they've started up already. Yep. And Aaron set his stuff up <laughs> Aaron has set his stuff up to kind of like cover the middle of that board there. Yeah, yeah. So they almost look like they're ready for the joust through the field. I'm wouldn't be where is Jake? Jake Jake is, is right there, number two. Yeah, okay. So yeah, Aaron's looking like he's going for a staggered approach. Mm -hmm. Maybe get the Ewings, take the first uh couple of hits and then Bring in uh, Wedge and Jake, who I guess will probably be supporting each other. So that's the thing. You would rather you'd rather lead with your linebackers, the U wings, get to soak um, up some of the damage, and then save. You want to yeah, save Wedge maybe as long as possible. Against Christian, yeah, I think I would. Like I, I'm imagining the U wings coming in and trying to focus down one of the tie advanced, mm -hmm. and Wedge and Jake, they might be they might be chasing after that uh, advanced. Or excuse me, the uh, the defender there, yeah, because that is the highest value ship in Christian's list. It's also one of the hardest to kill, uh, for very good reason. But if anyone's gonna do it, it's gonna be Wedge. Yeah, that's the thing. He really wants to save Wedge for that for that defender hunting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm predicting this seventh sister is gonna kind of sweep down. Nope, oh, hey, look at that! Really called it. Yeah, and um, and just just kind of. Br try and bring in a flanking shot and just kind of pester from the outside. So we'll probably see a boost here then. Uh, yeah. yeah. There he goes. Yeah. There you go. 
I love tie advanced prototypes. Oh, they're great. Yeah, they're great. Well, I I never play them. I'm I'm exclusively a Rebel Resistance and Scum player, so mm -hmm. I I never I never have the 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 joy of Seventh Sister, but I've certainly seen them, and they're annoying. Yeah, they're fantastic blockers, and the addition of force on a ship that's that maneuverable has has been amazing. Yeah, and pilot skill too. Who who has the initiative? I didn't catch that. Um, or question. sorry, player one. Oh, based on the fact that Jake hasn't moved yet, I'm willing to assume that that means it's Christian who has yep, an issue. Yeah, I think you're right. It's looking so like that's a 200 that seventh, point list. that seventh sister is going to be one heck of a good blocker. Yeah. And those Tempests are just going to do whatever they want all the time. Yeah. Although, with Hef, that might be a decent counter. It's true. Like, Hef might be a decent counter to that. Mm-hmm. Jake coming out. So there's a lot of focuses going around here, as you can see. Mm -hmm. what Aaron's oh, list okay. is just all about the focuses. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of focus sharing. There's going to be a lot of, like, it's just tanking up the rebels, making them tough to kill. Mm -hmm. are, now, are his foils open or closed? I'm, I'm seeing the open. wings physically closed. He just moved it so that he could uh, get wedge in there. Oh, no, no, uh, not the U-wing, the, the X-wing. Oh, I see what you're saying. Good question. Okay. Well, let, let's see how that plays out. He didn't boost. He didn't focus. So he's just content to be. So you're right. It does look like we're looking at a middle a middle yeah. field joust right around that central. Well, he's got the U wing set up so that he doesn't need to go left or right with them. Like they can just go straight, and they're both going to have a lot of time on target there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm wondering if Aaron's going to want to bring up into the middle of the field and then save his layer for the inevitable <laughs> when all of Christian stuff has to K turn around. He could just rotate his U wings and and pepper them with shots. Yeah. Yeah. I think we did hear that the U wings are open and the X wing foils are closed, by the way. So Wedge has that um Wedge has that extra versatility to him right now. Makes sense. I mean I think if mm -hmm. you know you're a couple rounds away from engagement, you always want to have the option to yeah. reposition. Because yeah. like the way Wedge is facing right now, he could um he could just as easily join Jake in the fight on the outskirts as he could turn in with the U wings. Right. All right, so what are, what are you predicting here uh, for the defender, Samit? Since you know you... what? Honestly, if I was Christian, I think I would just do a two forward because that's going to leave you a lot of options because the three bank is a bit unnecessarily aggressive, especially the Tempest are going to do a one. Okay. Because the thing is, Christian's at least one turn away from getting his target locks. Yeah, I'm I thinking that. I don't think he wants to engage with the defender if he doesn't well, have no, to. Well, no, actually, right not necessarily. With okay. the U-wings. Because um... his Tempest are going to move before uh... the U-wings do. Yeah, no, I, I was just trying to think if there was a way for them to do a focus sharing and then combo that into coordination, but I don't think you can. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to take a quick look at the, that defender dot because I'm thinking, what if he does like a soft one, mm -hmm. hides behind this uh, asteroid? Can I, can I touch Yeah, this? you absolutely can, yeah. Okay. So if he does a soft one here, yep. and then that gives him the ability to maybe barrel roll yep. on the outskirts, and then he's got a jousting situation potentially with Jake, which like, he should be able to win pretty easily. I feel like the one bank puts him on that debris, though. It could. It's dicey. It's close. It could. It's, it, yeah, it would be too close to call from up here. Mm. Coincidentally, he could do a hard three around that debris, like you said, but then he's no, out of the hard th uh, Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, he has a boost, doesn't he? Yes, it does natively now, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. I he... wanted to give the best ship more things. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. What What are they base, anyways? Uh, yeah. The cheapest defender is 70, uh, 69 now. 69 points. For the I1, but you can't fly more than three. Oh, my that's goodness. Point. All right. So, yeah, 69 for the Delta. That's the, the Onyx. And the Onyx is 75 base. Mm hmm. So the fact that Christian went two forward with his Tempest makes me think that that defender is going to do a three forward or a three bank. Based on that debris placement, it makes me think it'll be a three forward so that he gets the focus and the uh, yeah. ability to reposition after the fact. Okay. It's uh, Benthic coming in. Yeah. No. Uh. I think... He I think Christian's just going to hose him down with a field of fire, and we're you know, just going to trade with, dice. With, with what he's doing here, I'm thinking Christian's best bet for that defender would be to bring it straight in and join that fight immediately. Because mm -hmm. he needs to get down, and I'm going to assume Christian's first target here is going to be Benthic two tubes. You think over half? 
uh, that perceptive copilot, that uh, focus sharing, at the really higher good. points cost is going to make him a, m- a more valuable target. That's I true believe. because the focus sharing is massive potential yeah. for this list, and yeah. the fact that Jake uh, Jake can also share focuses, he's got yeah. a lot of support for his wedge. Yeah. So you're right. I, I suspect we'll probably see a three bank out of seven sister to come in oh. this way, and yep. I think Christian's just going to do a pincer yeah. and just go. Well, all let, in. let's hope that's what he did for his sake. Mm-hmm. I mean, not that this is the game at this point, but that that certainly would make things a little bit easier. And I could even see the seven sister coming straight in, yep, and then boosting in later. Well, that would make sense too. Yeah, because I mean, those U wings like they can pivot, but they can't face every direction, and they have no back arc, so that wouldn't be a bad spot for her to be in. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. So you went with the four straight. Easy evade. It's already in range three, so we can focus straight away. Yeah. Yep. Token up. I wonder if he's going to want to boost so that he can fit the K-turn in last um, next round. I don't know. Does he need the K-turn? Ah, there you go. Oh, okay. That answers All right. my question. Yeah, good call. Now that, now that might not be his best move because that U-Wing could just as easily stop next turn and get coordinated into a uh, into a focus action. That's true, but what I think actually Christian might actually be using his defender as bait because the oh more, that wouldn't they, be I wouldn't put that past him either because it can tank. I mean, it's got yeah. seven hull and an evade. Yeah, no, you're not dice. you're not one turning a defender. No, not, you're not even lifetime. a two turn it necessarily, and that and uh, that gives his and it gives his. Um, yeah. Okay, here comes the seventh sister. It might give his tempest time to pull those target locks. Yeah. So now, what do you think he's doing with Jake here? Do you think Jake's like zooming around the outside, or do you think he's going to pull Jake in? I would be surprised if he didn't, if Aaron didn't do, uh, like a two bank, and then he's going to boost Jake so that he can share yeah. focus. Yeah, and that because the and fact that both U wings target locked means yeah. I think he wants to get a focus out there somewhere. Yeah, I, let me look up the timing window for Benthic two tubes because uh, I'm not sure when he shares that focus. Okay, I think I think it's at the start of engagement, but I'm not certain. Um, so it's after oh, yeah, focus right. action. You're right. So he has to perform focus action, mm-hmm. and I believe Jake, um, when he does yeah, the focus, yeah. he lets somebody else do a focus action, or he just yeah. Gives so a perceptive token. copilot, he could be sharing out two focus tokens. This so turn. there you go. So what ends up exactly that? So whenever Jake passes his focus token to Benthic, because Benthic has the perceptive Which copilot, I don't, I don't think Jake passes anymore. He he, takes he a allows focus, somebody else, and then to he do allows someone else well. to take a focus. Yeah. So that that's that's going to be really versatile for yeah. him. All you got to do is make sure that he's in range one after that maneuver and yeah. focus focus away. So here you can see a daisy chain of yeah. focuses. There you go. Yep. Look at that. That's lovely. Uh, now, where did what did the U-Wings do that they aren't sitting on a, t- a token right now? They both took target locks. Ah, oh, because those are going to be nasty. Plan, because Aaron had this plan the entire time. Okay. That is a great approach. That is really cool. Okay, slight misstep by Aaron, but let's see how uh, how that plays out. You know, now now uh, Aaron meant to focus before barrel rolling. I mm-hmm. guess he just got a bit excited, but that could actually play in his favor if if Christian is baited into shooting at Jake. That that could be a wasted shot. I don't think Christian's gonna shoot Jake. Yeah, I I wouldn't. I wouldn't if I were him. I think he's going to dump dump fire into the U-Wings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, they're not determining targets here. They're just explaining what I just explained, how Jake meant to focus before barrel rolling. Yeah. But that would also he, yeah. yeah, but that would also see Jake uh, stressed out as well. So it, would, it could work to his advantage that it's not. He's got a crack I think shot. If, so. I think if you're wedge, you want to shoot at the defender at range two. Uh, I certainly would, but it's going to depend on what Aaron's plan is. I'm, if he's baited into the defender at this point, mm-hmm. he's got to go in with it into into it with absolutely everything. But I and think he's got three touch. Sh- I mean, Jake even might have his crack shot viable on the defender. Uh, there there is a chance of that. There right. there is a, there is a small chance of that. However, mm-hmm. there is no way those U wings have that defender target locked, so they might choose to go after whatever they had target locked, which mm-hmm. I'm assuming is the Tempests. Okay, okay so... Um, Range Aaron, 3 of the Tempest coming in. Aaron identifying the Tempest as being... Uh, now, is this coming from Hef or Benthic? No, it's uh, Wedge. Oh, excuse me, Wedge, right. 
Yeah, so Wedge is going to fire that one. Okay. <clears throat> oh, not so. spending the target lock? No, that's the Ewing's target locks. Wedge just had a focus. <sighs> right. Well, I don't know why I keep confusing this. It's okay. <clears throat> it's been a long weekend, I a guess. A lot of tokens, played a lot of games. Yep. Yeah, certainly have six. Excuse me, six games. Yeah. Nope. They evaded it. Just checking our uh, distance to see if he can get Wedge on this shot. Yeah. So the two dice, you might take the pot shot. She's not going to take any fire from any of it. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. He can spend the focus if he wants. Do you um, do you recall what the Seven Sisters ability is and whether you yes. need to be in bullseye yes. for it? No, you don't. So now oh. if Wedge rolls one evade, he'll use Seven Sisters ability oh, for 100%. sure. Oh, 100%. He's going to use her ability. Yeah. He's going to use Seven Sisters ability right there to... Okay, so you push, so he pushed through that damage. Is she can spend two force tokens yep. to remove one of your evade results. Yes, which so, he, they've just done, pushing through a damage. Yeah, and then on the initial engage, she's going to get one more force token back. No one's going to shoot her next round. Yep. Um, well, it basically nobody, functions like a crack shot. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it a built-in crack shot. It's phenomenal. And without the bullseye arc. Yeah, without the bullseye arc. She's, she's great value for the points yeah. that she is. Yeah, 43 points, and she's yeah. going to earn that back yeah. right away. Yeah. That's uh, shields down on wedge. Okay. Yep. We don't actually have a dice cam. Do should we uh call out the results then? Or yeah, that was two crits, and then uh, he uh, focused and only took one shield damage. Okay. Range two shot on the defender. Yep. From Jake. Yeah. Also, Aaron should check if he has bullseye. Yep. Uh, if he wants yeah. To. Wouldn't have mattered. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think at this point, yep. yeah, he's Christian's going to throw as much into Wedge as possible. Yeah, I, that is absolutely the right call. Wedge is by far the biggest threat in this list. Sneaking that two shields down on this engagement <clears throat> is huge. Any other damage yeah. he can get into Wedge now will be huge. That is a hit and a eyeball, Focus I result, think. yeah. So now he's contemplating, should he spend yep. his focus? Yeah. Which he does. Uh, nice. Handily evaded. So here comes he's proc in the passive sensors. Yep. Passive sensor into a target lock on wedge. Which makes sense. Great value on that passive sensor. <coughs> That's an obstructed range three, I believe. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Uh, spending target lock. Yep. No reason not to. Nope. And, yep, hit crit crit. Oh, so Ooh. he takes a hit and a crit. Yep. A wedge. So you got a stun pilot. Yep. All right. So that's uh, half on Wedge, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was two. Was it two crits or was it one? I thought he said it was hit, hit, crit or hit, crit, crit. Yeah, I don't recall. But uh, I only saw one crit uh, up. So let's, let's see how they play. Uh, I only heard stun pilot as the crit. That's true. Shooting at the Tempest now. Yep. Okay, so he spends everything yep. for two hits. <clears throat> two under the Tempest. Right. Yep, range two on the Tempest. Not being baited by the Defender. Okay. Nope. Aaron did not take the bait. Was that a range one on the Defender? Oh, It was. Ooh. It was. It was a range one shot on the Defender if he wanted it. So, yeah, as the players on the board also confirmed, that definitely went better for Christian than it did for Aaron. Yep. That was unfortunate Certainly, for Wedge to uh, damage, damage that early on. Christian escaped entirely unscathed in that exchange. Yeah. 
that is definitely not what Aaron was looking for. Especially considering Aaron had so many offensive mods, and a lot of Christians, temp the Tempests themselves had no defensive mods. They they went for pure offense. So uh, Christian played the, the 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 odds there and worked out in his way favor. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, like Christian's list do, does have a little bit of the uh, a, a lot of built-in um, safeties in check. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, so does Aaron. So th this next round is going to be very. Like, this is going to be a very decisive round, I think. Because if Aaron can focus up his whole force, as his list seems to be designed to do, mm -hmm. he's going to stand a much better chance of escaping with Wedge, unsca like, either unscathed or alive at all. Yeah. And he's going to, like, it's going to be what determines whether he's able to punch back with the strength he needs to actually level this playing field. So this is where the only place is a little bit dicey for Christian is what's he going to do with that rear Tempest number four? Because he wants to, I think he wants to get in front of that defender, and I think he wants to go one, um, two, three. A four forward might be just enough, because then this defender can hard three in there, block wedge. You know, he's blocking wedge in two different spaces, and this is a one bank, and this is a two forward. Yeah, that's what I think. No, I would. Four K doesn't clear, so you no, can't do 4K it. No, four K doesn't clear. I'm wondering if he doesn't just one forward here. Then, but then he would bump, and he needs the passive sensors to go out. Mm, that's true. Um... Well, I mean, he could, like that's the passive sensors guy. So he could always just uh, hop skip in front of him, like you said. Even even avoiding the rock, come in on an angle like this. Sure. Maybe try and catch Jake. Maybe try and catch the Hef there, or sorry, Benthic two tubes. Yeah. Uh, then he'd be clear to just passive sensor, and like if you want to fire at him, okay, fine, fire at him. He's unscathed. He's not going to go down this round most no, I, likely. I don't suspect Aaron is going to use Leia this round. I don't think. Uh, it's you know, I was considering him. whether he would or not. I wouldn't be surprised if he did, because at that point he could zero stop with the U-wings. That's true. It's a, they're and in a just, great place to zero yeah, stop. Yeah, yeah. And if he did that, he could also rotate Hef yeah. to get into that action right there as well. That's true. And you could be, you could try doing that, banking on a very fast maneuver here and an aggressive maneuver here, and you might even get a few blocks in on that too. Hmm. Now the tie advanced, <clears throat> sorry, the tie advanced in this edition gained the one forward. Yes, they are just like you said, dogs of the bone. Once they get you, they got you. So Did seventh he, sister is stressed, so she's probably going to do a two forward or two bank is most likely. Yeah, I think that's a pretty safe maneuver for her. Just keeping out of that, keeping out of everyone's arc yeah, is going to be her best bet. Yeah, two forward probably makes the most sense because she, she right you get right up Yeah, she's just going to pop in, token up, and just take the best target of opportunity. She's not going to be able to pull that crack shot again mm -hmm. for at least another round. So, mm -hmm. I mean, unless she's really threatened, I don't see her using the force. So she's just going to bank it up and be a threat next round again. Agreed. Yeah, a two forward focus seems like the obs ab absolute right course for her. It's whether that this Tempest number three does the one forward and pulls a target lock on somebody, or does that now yeah. again because I, I don't see the, any reason for that Tempest to do anything other than a one forward. But we'll right. see how aggressive Christian wants to be. But then he's got to pick who he wants to pull the lock on. Well, that guy doesn't. Yeah, have a he, do he doesn't have the lock, and he could be looking at half going. Do I really want to take four shots and not have any defense modification? Mm -hmm. Especially as you said, if and if Aaron calls that too and does pop pop Leia, he can spin his <clears throat> U wings arc there. Double yep. focus. There's a focus yep. here. He, he could definitely he can he, stop and take a target yeah. lock, and he can just blast away. Yeah, if he, right if he now. pops Leia now, Aaron has a lot of versatility going for his list. Yeah, he doesn't need to pop her yet, but he could. Yes, that is going to be the question for this round. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so he is oh, going to popping Leia. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that's aggressive. A three bank. Yep. I think he's looking to block Jake. Uh, I think so. I think so. <coughs> <clears throat> Once again, we should say something about the camaraderie of this uh, of this open. These guys have been playing together for a long time. Good friends all here. Mm -hmm. And they're like just being able in a game system to let people just not not being uncomfortable having your opponent touch your ships or do anything of the sort. Like, it's just a, a lot of good, clean fun yeah, here. Yeah, work, working together yeah. to play a This has been game. a great community for that. That is a spicy maneuver. That is. I am very surprised he focused there. 
Yeah, knowing that Leia's coming, you got to assume zero stops from the U wings. No, I, I, I would have. I would have assumed he just passes, or maybe that is the passive sensor. Is he using no, an unusual? That is the passive sensor passive one. Passive yeah, sensor. but he okay. focused instead of using passive sensor. Yeah, sensors. so I'm. I'm a little surprised. He must be expecting that U wing to just uh, stay forward. I'm predicting that the U wings stop, but I like maybe he is too at this point, and that's why he did that. I guess he wants to be able to have the off the uh, defensive mods with the yeah with the with the focus yeah. weapons. And then that tempest came in uh, hard, like I thought. Now, in this since in this instance, would you t uh, zero stop Hef and turn him or turn him at all? I think that's right now what Aaron is trying to figure out. <clears throat> like Hef wants to stay in front of these ships. Well, he definitely wants to focus. Well, yeah, with with such a juicy target for him, he definitely wants to focus. That would be ideal. But I mean, if he zero stopped and had the intention of turning, he could keep ahead of these of the the sister and the Tem and number three tempest, and try and bring his uh, pilot ability into uh, a little bit of uh, prominence. It all comes down to what Aaron did with Wedge. Yeah, I yeah, bet would... you then Hef is going to coordinate. Okay, Hef is stopping. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, he's evading. He's he's getting out of dodge. Yeah, Wedge okay. is probably going to K-turn. Yep, and he did not swivel Hef. No. Both wings are still open. Well, yeah. the wing is still open. So. I wonder if if Aaron would wanted to rotate Hef to put both of his U-wing shots into the same Tempest because he's had to split his fire so far. Mm. But then again, if... Uh, he and, and Aaron, did, and sorry, and then Christian did do the three hard like I wanted him to do, which is great. Uh, was that. it a three hard? Or, yeah, yeah, he's doing three, three hard. hard. Okay, so he's going to have some juicy shots on the on to Hef. Yeah. Well, he was. I think he was too close to really, really get in on um, on two tubes. Yeah, and maybe, maybe Christian's looking at Hef like he's a better target because he's going to get three of his four ships in on that on that one guy yeah, this round. Seven sisters definitely going to come in for that. Yeah. And then, and then next round, he's got uh, number four Tempest able to K turn ba back or sloop or whatever. Yep. And all of a sudden, he's behind the list, just just giving her every chance he gets. Mm. Oh, now so does he I, barrel roll? Because he might be in arc in Hef's forward arc there. I think he's dodged it personally from here. Yeah. But it is hard to tell when you're not it's, on the table. It is hard to tell. Yeah. But you're right. It looks like Krishna's decided to barrel roll. I think I would have focused for maximum damage. Um, do you need the maximum damage here? You're not going to, you're not going to take him off the board this turn. No, but it's a range one shot. Maybe. I mean, now you're guaranteed safe. Yeah, also, if I'm trying to protect my Tempests, yeah. I stay there with my defender who's un undamaged <clears throat> and, and bait that range one shot. Yeah. And you know, uh, barrel rolling out of that spot, out of that pocket, um, that could very easily be where Wedge went. That's true. I mean, you don't know what Wedge is doing yet, but I, based, uh, on Christian, the, based on the fact that the Leia has been popped and he barrel rolled Wedge, I'm assuming it's a 4K. And now, oh, well, if that's the case, he's got him blocked. And now, because of the K turn, Christian can't K turn the. Uh, and if he was expecting that K turn, I think barrel rolling that defender was the wrong move because he's not going to have a shot on Wedge afterwards. Yeah. Uh, and the Seven Sister. Yep. Okay, so I think I think Christian's thinking Wedge might be trying to get out on that side. Of this trap, and he's going for the block there. <laughs> Players are just saying. But, so that, Christian that thinks exactly, that yeah, yeah. Well, Chris, Christian's good at that kind of thing. Like he's he's great at predicting those maneuvers. Ooh, does Jake fit? Oh, okay. Lovely. I mean, there shouldn't be any reason he didn't. Like, it, with knowing he was going to stop there, like unless he made a misplay, there was no reason for Jake not to be able to complete his maneuver oh remembering the right sequence this time yep I'm giving that almighty focus token yep. to someone passing the focus to wedge in my opinion as he should mm -hmm. <clears throat> Although Benthic wouldn't have been a bad call either, because Benthic could just as easily uh, perceptive co-pilot and then share the focus anyways. It's true. But I think, unless I'm mistaking the, the tokens already out there, Benthic is already focused. So yeah, so 
wedged into the 4K. Oh, okay. And yeah, it's not going to clear past the Tempest. No. But um, we're just then the players are just trying to figure out where it clears. Yeah. I think they're just going to slide it right up, and uh, and I'm almost certain he's going to have room to yeah. Put, it looks put that like ship he fits. Front. It looks like he fits in front of yeah, the U. Which is going to give, which is unfortunate because Christian now has removed that very juicy shot on wedge from the defender, mm -hmm. and that's I mean the seven sisters laughing, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, Christian's just saying he really should have stayed where he was with his defender. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think mean, should focused. <clears throat> yep. Yep. He's in there. He's in there. Now Wedge is only sitting on two uh two hull two and hull. a focus. So this but is he's not... also he also only has one shot coming his way. Yeah. It's not impossible, but it's uh <clears throat> but Wedge is sitting in a spot that he wouldn't mind. And with and with the 4K and Leia, he's free to 4K again next turn. Mm -hmm. And so with he, with Benthic, he can even do it and have a focus token at the end of it. Yeah. So they're calling Judge over to check Arc on Seventh Sister. Yep. No player wanting to be obviously when you, when it's a call like this when it's an important yeah. game. No, and, call and a Judge. Is, so yeah. don't, let, don't worry about any biases coming absolutely. in. There's absolutely. Absolutely. Nothing wrong with calling a Judge there, to yeah. check Arcs. No. There's yeah. It's far better to be accurate than and an, and an impartial choice. Yeah, I mean, obviously, and an impartial choice. That's the most. That I is want really it to be range one. You don't want it to be in range one. Yeah. So who gets to make that call? Yeah, yeah. I don't think he has it. Yeah. No. Okay. <clears throat> well, players confirming. All right. Okay. Here we go. Seven sister. No. Nope. So yeah, he's gonna spend seven sister fours. Yep. Let's Oh. Okay. It takes one so crit. Just eats one crit. Ooh, console fire. Console fire. That's going to matter next round. Mm -hmm. What was stun pilot again? There we are. Up on the screen. Before you engage, roll one attack die on a hit. Suffer one damage. So that'll need turning down. Okay. That might actually prevent him from doing that K turn. The console fire? Yeah. Yeah, because he won't be able to... Well, he can get coordinated a removal of it. Uh, Yeah, I guess. Yeah, he could. He could get coordinated, but both of those ships are going to be moving before him. Benthic is going to need to... Uh, so, however, if the defender didn't barrel roll, he would have had a range one shot on yeah. I think. I think if that is what he wants to do, uh, if he wants to coordinate Wedge so that he can 4K and have a focus, yeah. he's going to need to dedicate both of those U-wings to the task and... I'm not certain that's going to be in his best interest. Because Hef, to get a coordinate action, he needs to get clear of all of this. And while the Tempest will move before him, maybe he could jump so they were that. So they were measuring for the crack shot, so oh, okay. Christian just said, I'm going to spend the evade anyways because it's the only shot that you have. Now I'm guaranteed, so removing right. all question from the game. Got it. So the Tempest only has the one shot, Ben Thick. Just one hit. One hit. That should be easily evaded. There yep. we go. He wants to save that. He wants to. Yeah, you want to keep that focus for your defensive yeah, role because that's uh, four dice coming back at you from the U wing. Yeah, that's yeah that that is the shot the U wing wanted. Uh, so shooting Tempest three from issue, the other yep. Tempest. Looks like it's two. Yeah, two focus results. Tr Christian decides to hold on to yep. his focus token. Rightly so, I think. Yeah, choosing to keep his focus. No reason to spend it here. Yeah. Nice. Nice. If for those of you that couldn't hear, that was a hit, crit, crit. Two evades. He loses one shield. Tempest number three. Mm-hmm. So the passive sensor one has lost the shield. Okay. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. So Hef is going to uh, elect to take the range one onto seven sister. Yeah, this is an interesting call. Um, that's what that's what Aaron was saying. It's an interesting choice for him, but he yeah. Ooh, that looks yeah. Okay. So hit crit. 
and she's safe. Okay. So maybe he was trying to get her to spend that force to just prevent her that crack shot for next round. She spent force on her attack on uh, Wedge. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. But, uh, yeah, that's why he's trying to get rid of her because now he realizes that, that her ability is strong. Well, I mean, I guess she's worth more points than the uh, than the Tempest. So that, like, that could just be the only reason right there. Christian did not realize that U wings have coordinate. You know, he's a lifelong Ooh. he's a lifelong rebel player, and he forgot. I'm just joking. He's never <laughs> yeah. he's the only player. You know, I think the quarter. only cr the only ships of Christian has ever picked up that were rebel were mine to fling him across the room as he removed them from the table. <laughs> no, he used to buy some stuff for upgrades back <laughs> in the day. Yeah, he really? Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. But that was 1.0. Nobody nobody wants to remember those dark yeah. times. Yeah. And, the, and the Ewing couldn't coordinate back then. There was That's no true. coordinate back then. No, the Ewing's fantastic. Oh, now. you know, the, the things they have done with the Ewing have been phenomenal. Like, they are they are a really versatile ship. They are great now. Yeah. Compa well, compared to what they were. Yes. What the they medium were, base was a huge change for them, too. It makes them a yes. lot better. Yeah. Yeah. Medium base in general is one of the best features just, of the game. Just the thing that really um, that really changed in the Ewing, in my mind, was the way that the uh, the pivot worked. Mm -hmm. So now it used to be that you had to telegraph, telegraph yeah. that you were going to pivot a full turn in advance. Yeah. And maybe you did it, maybe you didn't. But you, like now you can do it the turn of. You get a little bit more information than you had previously. And it just makes them a whole lot more a whole lot more playable in my opinion. They so were they were almost not playable in my opinion. Here's uh, a com before. complicated choice for Aaron now. Yep. His uh half half tober cannot pivot now. Cannot zero stop because he's stressed from the coordinate. Yeah. So I'm thinking that Hef is gonna try and jump over this whole conga line in front of him. Yep. So to clear the stress, because I believe they have a three I don't know if the U wings a green th or excuse me, a blue three. Um, let's just look at, let's just look that up really quick. Uh, the, uh, oh no, they have a blue, they have a, a soft blue, th uh, blue yeah. is soft two and all the one maneuvers. Yeah. So there's no, three. there's no way for him to clear stress with Hef and gain an action. Well, now hang on a minute. Christian has the initiative, so that Tempest will be moving. So he could still hopscotch there and do it. Well, that's a good point. Whether, You're right. The two forward will clear. My apologies. Whether, he, whether that seven sister is also blocking that line, I it's a little difficult to tell, but I suspect it's not. Yeah, with the medium medium bases, it's hard to gauge. Yeah. But I think you're right. I think the two forward does clear. Yeah. Yeah, and if that's the case, then he has no problem stressing himself out again to, uh, to coordinate Wedge to get that uh, token to allow him to 4K but and get West can get Wedge back in the get fight. Get focus if he wants to rotate. Um, no, no, he can't. But does he want to rotate, it's a good or does question. Benthic want to just get out of dodge? Because that where Benthic is right now is about to be have at least two ships there, and possibly the defender if he chooses to K turn. Well, I think. I think we see a K-turn there. I think you're right there. Um, I wouldn't be this surprised This is if now got to be a hard three or a three bank out because the 4K lands up. Actually, you know what? He could it's a debris cloud. There. Who cares? Yeah. He'll still get his evade token. And he's not going to get actually, shot. I actually would just 4K onto the cloud, the lobster claw, because he still gets to pull his evade. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I'm I'm thinking the seventh sister either does a... Uh, Five forward? A, one, a soft uh, two forward there. Yeah. And maybe, try, maybe try and get uh, Hef Tobler. Or does a hard one or something to clear the stress she has and then go after Wedge again. Well, Wedge will bump her if she goes for the hard one there. No, Wedge won't bump her. Yeah. What she will do is she'll bump Hef Tobler. But, I mean, she's got force, so does she really care? No, it means that she can't fit because she'll bump on Wedge. Uh, oh, Wedge yeah, yeah. After. No, that's right. Um, yeah, then maybe she just goes forward and, and goes after uh, Mr. Two Tubes. Yeah, because I don't think Tempest 3 can fit a 4K. No, I don't think he can fit a 4K. Do they not have um, any they have other talons. way of turning around? They, they have, do have uh, talons. three talons. That could be spicy. But that would be on a rock, and he won't fit the three talon ship left. So no. I think I think Tempest 3 has got to go forward. Yeah, I think so too. He's got to go so two too. forward, or even one forward. I, I th I'm thinking if I was Christian, I would be going into uh, two tubes in this next phase. I also think he wants to get this Tempest here because he doesn't want to give Jake the option of hard to clear stress, boost focus, and all that other crap. Yeah, yeah. so if he, if he pulls both ships here and here and he takes up this real estate, yeah. then that really prevents Jake from coming in as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, you mm-hmm. got to assume that you, he can't he can't focus on wedge. He's got to get he's got to get let, yeah. let wedge go this round. Yeah, which which will work to Aaron's benefit because you're 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 making him switch targets all the time, and it's um, it's really going to be a way to to give these rebels a lot more life. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mind, tough. mind you, if that. <laughs> he he could come in here. He yeah. could come in here. Yeah. He could come in he, uh, yeah. here, and he could come in here. Yes. And you got a heck of a kill box on Benthic. That's true. I kind of hope he. I kind of hope he bails with Benthic now that I'm saying all this. What's that? I'm I'm kind of silently cheering for the rebels, but I, so I hope he kind of bails with Benthic, and just gets out of dodge. Yeah. Focuses up and then pass the focus over. Yes. I. I. Yeah. No, that's the smartest maneuver. Well, that's a maneuver. No one said I was smart. Well. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yep. I'm seeing a four. Yeah. 4K makes Sounds the most Sounds like a sense. 4K. Yeah. Makes the most sense. So that's All the right. passive, passive sensor guy. Uh, Yeah. Now, did he still have this target lock from last round, or did he spend it? No, he spent it. Okay. Yeah. And then, oh, ooh, three coming around that okay. way. Okay. All right. Maybe he's going for a block here. Oh, it's Talon. Right? Yeah. Oh, he's going after Wedge. Yeah. Oh, he's going after Wedge, and he might get a block. Oh, yeah. this is spicy. I like it. Yeah. Good wow, on you, and Christian. And it fits. And it oh, fits. Oh, man. Ooh. Scraping. Just ooh. scraping. Ooh. Oh, just... Just go ahead and push oh, that wedge all the way back. Jeez. All the way you back. You know, hats off to Christian. Neither one of us saw that one coming. I totally did not think that cleared the rock. I was like, that's yeah. on it. So Yeah. I, and from from our viewpoint, it does. It didn't look like it would fit. Those damn tall people. You guys can always see more of the game than we can. Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm six foot five, and now I'm being reduced to this average <laughs> man's view. It's an impediment, I tells you. So as you said, he called, he went for the block and he yeah, blocked him beautifully, yeah. and that's huge because now he's not going to be able to double focus. Yep, and if that's what he was counting on for wedge, mm-hmm. and he probably was, then that that could be quite significant. Is this a coordinate? No, he's just getting wedge oh, out of the oh, way. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, he's just mar- yeah, he's just marking because um, half is moving now. Yeah. And Hef's also going to do the two okay. forward. All right. So Wedge could still get that help if he needs it. Yep. Uh, hoping that he didn't block the 4K himself. But I think he's okay. Yeah, he should still fit. <clears throat> yeah, he absolutely still fits. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Flipping down the console Smart. fire. Coordinating, coordinating yep. that away. That's probably the best call. Coordinating repair on the console fire. Yeah. And I am hoping that the Seven Sister didn't also turn in, because that could be a real nasty fight for Wedge on one hall without mods, if that's the case. Yeah, okay. So Super aggressive oh, with the wow. Seven Sister. So that was interesting. Okay. Now, she kept her stress there? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, Christian was saying he expected the um t- he didn't he didn't think that he would get rid of that stress. He thought he would just bump with mm-hmm. uh half. Yep. And okay. And that Defender was smart. coming in. Great yeah. great move. Perfect position. Doesn't need to be anywhere else. No. So this time you should focus. Yeah. Yeah, well, there you yeah, go. He's, he's coming in fully modded. He's not getting shot, except maybe by Jake. Yeah. But I mean, if oh, you can... Oh, Jake can still pass. Yes. Oh, okay, great, great, great. Yeah, so now we see the real the, the real synergy yep. no, of his Oh, no, list. Aaron, you're forgetting the sequence again. That is true. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because you're not getting shot, but... Uh... You know, can Jake pass focus twice if he barrel rolled and f- and uh yes. Ooh, that's interesting. Cuz now he can boost. Yeah. No. Oh, oh for forward. Oh. oh, okay. So wedge is going to close his fo- I think a boost is coming. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, I think he's just getting out of dodge. Oh, yeah, sure. that's smart. He's got to hold on 
But here's the thing. I don't think he can get out enough. Well, he's still got the defender. I mean, the defender doesn't have juke, but still. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to get out of both. I don't think he's got the distance to get out of the Tempest and and the defender. Like, he's still going to be taking range three shots. Yeah, that's that's the point. Or maybe maybe he's going to, like, boost this way and try and get a Talon roll in for next round. But as Christian's pointing out, if he boosts here, he is in bullseye, potentially. Uh, yeah. Crack shot of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if he boosts this way, he's staring at a rock. Unless he's coordinated off it or something? I don't know. I think he's got to boost forward. I think he got to boost forward. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, if he boosts, if he boosts forward, he's got this real nice talon roll here yeah. or a real nice talon roll there. Yeah. Or the 4K, I mean, if you really want to keep out of reach. Yeah. So that's just the, the I'm dilemma. really enjoying this touch screen. I feel like I feel is like it fun? Yeah, oh man. This is like Madden football. You really get into it. Oh yeah. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna <laughs> go for and, and oh, then you're gonna no, move wait your a ship. minute. Wait a minute. And then your ship's gonna move. Okay, he's not looking at a talent rule at all. He's gonna boost focus, which is gonna give him a stress, which means he can't talent roll. No, he got the focus from he got the focus from the coordinate. Sorry, Joe Jake gave him the court the focus. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So he absolutely can. All right, range three from the defender coming in at wedge. He's gonna focus, focus for three, three hits, yeah, and that's probably the end of wedge. Oh, oh that's not the end enough of wedge. to keep him alive. Yeah. So here's a question: Do you? What is your decision when you know a ship's die, dead? Do you spend the focus, or I like to mill the damage? Down. Um. I, I honestly have never tried. I never really cared. I just mill my damage deck. I take all three hits. You know. You know what's funny? I've actually had a game once where I actually used up the entire damage deck of my opponent. Wow, that was that was an interesting list. Uh, that was. Um, I used to fly a ghost with two X wings. So I'll, I'll tell you about that. Sister just got one yeah. shield off of Benthic. Yes. So Jake oh. range. Ooh, nice. There Jake. it is. Jake. Got a boy. Jake. Jake. Come on. Let's see a damage. Take one shield off the defender. Yep. Ugh. Oh, no. Stupid, I still have six health Stupid, left. unkillable ships. You mean gorgeous, beautiful, incredible, unkillable Ugh. ships. If it, wasn't imper if, it was, if it wasn't Imperial, you'd hate it as much as I do. I'd be flying whatever faction it was in. <laughs> <laughs> I hear the E-Wing's comparable. Oh, it's cheaper. <laughs> yeah, barely. Nice. Oh, Yes, okay. He's got the range two obstructed yeah. onto. Mm -hmm. oh. One crit. Handily nice. evaded. Okay, so Aaron's got a ton of beef on the table. He yeah. should have a recharged Leia by now, I think, too, or am I All wrong? All right, so I'm also just looking across the okay. table, and uh, we've got two shields down on each U Wing, and loss of a wedge for the comparative value of one shield off a defender and one shield off a Tempest Squadron. This aim is not going Aaron's way so yeah, far. It's definitely, it's definitely sitting on, on Christian's shoulders currently, and Christian's got his ships yeah. pointing in the right direction to harass everybody. Yep. This Tempest can one bank out and yep. uh, pull a target lock on, on this guy. Yep. This guy can go one forward, passive yep. sensors. Uh, the defender is uh, probably just going to go three forward. And seven sisters mm -hmm. gonna hard one, and then everybody's now, pointing at. Now, if you were if Christians you were the defender, yeah. would you consider a four K here? You know what I would you know what I would actually do? Or can and they sloop? Do they have I, a sloop? They don't have a sloop. They don't right? have a sloop. No. no. What I would actually do is I would you do two forward. I think you could see a zero stop here yeah. with Benthic. Yeah. And you could. I, I mean, I think Jake stays on this defender. That's why I, that's why I think you do a two forward because Aaron's probably going to assume a fast maneuver, yeah, and he's going to hard two in, and he can bump into the back of him. That's my call. Generally, well, I no always matter, like no matter to, what that um, Hef I, has to go forward. He cannot stay where he is. Yeah, for me, whenever a four K is what's expected of me on a defender, I like to do two forward. Yeah, because especially if I'm sitting on full health, essentially, Ooh, I'll just take the focus uh, token. Okay, slight problem with that that I'm thinking of is that you will not get your free evade at that point. It's okay. What if instead? You've got six health. What if instead what he did is a hard three in, and he could come in and threaten Benthic and get that evade token and be fully tokened I up? I mean, that's a good choice, too, ass assuming that um, Hef goes faster than... Well, Hef can't stop. Two or faster. 
Hef can't stop. Yeah, but he, he can go to, one forward. He can go one forward, which means he's going to be about here. Oh, yeah, you're right. No, so you're right. So there is room. No, there you're is right. room to maneuver in there. That is an optimal maneuver. It's just whether or not he wants to continue to pound on Hef or he wants to pound <clears> on Ben Thick. I'm thinking he just doesn't want to get pounded by Jake. Like, he, like it's. I, I don't I mean, see Jake punching through him. That's but what I'm saying. It's an A wing. I mean, uh, I'm not worried about you, it. You play the odds. Like, one's safe, one's less safe, right? But the only reason why I think is that if Hef's got to go this way, Christian is building a beautiful little kill oh, box. Oh, yeah. No, for he's, it. Got, he's got a phenomenal kill box on so. him. But he's also got a reasonable kill box on, uh, on, uh, ben, on Benthic. Yeah. So if he does this. You're right. And then just comes in here, and he's got this. Like that's go that's going to be a few shots coming in on Benthic as well. That's assuming that Seventh Sister doesn't get bumped anywhere. Uh, that is, but she could. Um, well, no, I guess she has to clear stress, and Benthic could could very well zero stop. Yeah. Although I don't think he will. I think he will go forward and try and pass half a focus. Yep. Yep. Two straight clear coming stress. in. Target lock most now, likely. Now, if Hef runs into him. Yeah. Does he still does his uh, ability trigger? Uh, I don't know. Can we bring up Heftober's card? Can we bring up Heftober's card? All right, taking a target way. lock on Hef. After an enemy ship executes a maneuver, yeah. if it's at so range, no, yes. no. If he bumps, if he bumps the tempest, nothing happens. No, except it's the other way around. Yeah, you have yeah. to block them. All right. Yep, that makes sense. So he's got yep. passive sensors with mm -hmm. that one. No reason not to there. Yeah, exactly. One bank from Hef, shedding that stress. It's really too bad he couldn't boost out of that arc, but... Mm -hmm. Now, Hef is still pretty... <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Hef is still pretty uh, healthy here. Oh, yeah. The what if he coordinated a target lock onto Jake? Oh, okay. That's cute. So oh, that's hilarious. Coordinating a focus to the get a focus. The Ewing's working in conjunction together, yeah, that, sharing sharing, and sharing and caring. Yeah, I really, really, really like Aaron's that list. Was, that was awesome. I really like Aaron's list. Yeah. Now, Benthic, I think he's going to come in and try and hammer that Tempest. Seven sister yep. clears her stress right. with a hard so. one bump. <clears throat> yeah, which makes that a very not a bad spot. And to also be the hard. See, told you two four. Oh, okay. Yep, two four. Because the hard three you would have bumped it. his tempest. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe. <clears throat> That's the thing. So when yeah. when you don't know you're gonna get blocked, yeah, just go where there's already a ship, and you're gonna you're gonna clear all the time. You're sitting on a ton of health. You have three evade dice. You yeah. have a focus token. Yeah. Just use. If you're really worried about Jake damaging you, just save your focus for defense. Yep. Yep. So predictably, uh, just coming in to to a safe spot, not being too aggressive. Mm -hmm. Oh, coming in on that tempest. Yeah, he also all has right. the excuse for the focus as well. Yeah. Yeah. Giving himself a focus. Yep. Okay. Well, I guess everyone everyone's got focus. So oh, he's got focus crack shot range one on the tempest. So yep. he's got two shots on that. He's got two shots on that tempest now. Yeah. And funny enough, because he didn't do that, like um, where you focus, and then the A wing's uh, ship chassis ability lets you then push for a uh, a boost, giving Jake Oof. a focus. He instead just boosted in and gave himself the focus. Yeah. Uh, keeping himself stress free. Okay, so... All right, so two hits. Two down. Ben, yeah, so shields down on Benthic. So he spent the focus to not take the crit. That's right. Nice. Yep, three two hits, hits coming crit. in. <clears throat> I see a, a crack shot being procced. Uh, takes it yeah, all. Yeah, takes it all. There we Nothing go. Nothing even to crack. Okay. Weapons failure Ooh, on Ooh, that's the good. Yeah. That's good. I that's think that huge. means you can't use that precious target lock of his. Well, he just loses the die. Or the fire control system. No, he just loses the oh, die. Oh, does he? Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. What, what Weapons failure. I'm thinking of blinded pilot. Yeah. It is still good, though, because now you're minus one yeah. at range one. So oh, yeah, yeah. No. All right. Modding to a crit and spending the target lock. No, or fire, no, control no fire control system. system. Excuse me. 
All right, half taking a hit crit. Yeah. Uh, that'll bring him below half, I yep. believe. Direct, Direct, for sure. Definitely okay. gets him below. Ah. Half not having a good day here. Mucho damage. Yep. I think, yeah. Okay. Oh, think, a downtown shot. Yeah. Passive sensors. There's absolutely no reason Great not to. Great put so much damage into half Great now. call. Just get that ship off the board. It's also three dice. Yep. And if you can squeak a crit through, 100% makes sense. And mm -hmm. you spend the target lock at this point because... All so right, two hits. Two hits, three dice. Come on, Hef, pull it out. Got nice. two. There we go. Handily evaded. Hef saying, not today. Not today. All right, and this looks like Benthic taking the range two shot on unobstructed, I think. Yep. Oh, not great, but... No damage. Safe. Uh, okay, I think they're back to dials. Okay, so now what? I I don't know what this defender does. I mean, short, of, short of doing E4Ks. a hard two. E4Ks. 4Ks? Why not? Why well, would you not? Hef is stressed, so yeah. Hef is moving out. So. Hef, Hef is going away. Yeah. Jake is zippy, so he's going he's gonna to leave. What does a 4K get you that a hard two won't? Well, then, well, hard two is red, first of all, so you don't is do it? that. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, wow. So you 4K this, and then you hard three this. Hard three? Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, and then um, I mean that weapons the weapons failure on that tempest sucks. So it's a uh, Christian might just five forward the tempest to say and turn down the weapons failure. Yeah, that, that's because not that kind of takes either. the teeth out of his ship with the weapons failure. Now, if he's there. doing that, like, would it not make more sense for him to turn him in and disengage that way where he won't be stressed? Well, the or, hard or at least able to the hard threes blocked though. Because the defender's yeah, initiative yeah, four, okay. so he can't go that way. Yeah, all right. But you're right. That would have been the, the the path if you wanted to bail out. That would have been mm -hmm. the path for him. Yeah. And then... So, uh, so Hef did eat a lot of damage. Yep. Leia is... Well, it's also important Leia, to know that Leia is, Leia is active, active again. Active, so Hef However, could actually However, that does not stop, mean though. that she's going to be triggered. Both ships are stressed. So a zero stop for Hef gets him nothing. And a zero stop for Benthic gets him potentially a good shot. But the, no action, uh, no, yeah. Yeah, that's but true. no action. So, I mean, Jake's good, but he's not that good. I don't think I, I don't think the zero stop is the is the thing for right now. And if you're not zero stopping, do you do you even pop Leia? I'm not sure. You're right. I don't think you do. I don't think this is a turn he wants to use it because he can't he can't gain anything from it. Yeah. Now, uh, playing devil's advocate to myself, uh, you could also just proc her because you're probably going to lose half anyways. Right. Just to, and make then, your, just to and make your opponent yeah, just, think something? Yeah, just to just to give yourself the option, I guess. Because, I mean, you could stop. Or uh, or you could just hard two in, try and mm -hmm. get a shot. Like, just try and get something, anything. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you're really having to think hard now yeah. to get himself back in this I, game. I think, I think this, is a, this is Jake's turn. I think he needs to be effective and his ability needs to go off this turn. So if I was Christian, I would be seriously considering pulling him right in there, oh, uh, pour, pulling number four Tempest right in to try and get that block on Jake. Right. Because if, if both of these U-Wings don't have tokens next by the end of this turn, then that is probably going to be a dead half no matter what. <clears throat> okay, 4K from the Tempest. And Leia was procced. And Leia was procced. They will mark them properly. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that blocks the 4K from the yeah. uh, from Which the defender. Which means he's defender. probably going to do a hard three. Yep. Unless he zero stops, white zero stops. Which point the hard three would crash. The defender can zero stop. No, the no. Um, okay. I thought this was sorry. I was about, I meant with zero stop with the U wing. Uh, I don't think this is the turn for it. I think you turn in. You're going to lose half no matter what. I think you just turn in and try and get a shot off. So that does not look like it clears. You know, and... Uh, oh, okay. I'm wrong. Oh, nice. All right. Okay. 
I, I, nice. I genuinely thought he was going to be coming in really fast. Yeah, me too. I thought we were going to see like a three forward yeah. or something to block. I thought he was going to do a five forward, just try and get right in Jake's face and block it. Sorry, the players are just uh, trying to having a discussion, out. trying to trying to sort out who's got what. What's uh, just a bit of clarification on the table. He's just trying to. We're just okay. It's you know, trying to remember how everything happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And where that stress should have been. Uh, I I've sort of missed it. What are they trying to? They figure were just out? trying to figure out that Aaron, whether Hef could stop or, or sorry, whether Bentha could stop. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> So the, the question of the discussion was whether or not Benthic was actually stressed. Uh, and he was, obviously, because he did mm -hmm. stop last round. And the reason why he had focuses was because he was coordinated to focus. Yes. And that's why okay. both of his ships were so stressed. This, this, to me, is kind of interesting because I actually thought this is where Jake was going to be. Yep. yep. All right, sharing that focus, as Benthic does. And then... And then I guess Hef is doing a hard two or something, which I think is going to make him keep his stress. Well, that's the thing. He doesn't worry about stress now, the fact that he has a um, focus token. Yeah, exactly. And he hard st Oh, okay. No, he's, he is clearing the stress. So he does care, Samit. He does care. Uh, no, he is going to rotate. Oh, okay. But because it's Leia has been popped, they're white. Yeah. It's a white rotate. Okay. All so right. he's closing his foil so that he can rotate. That's, that's tricksy. He's giving himself an additional evade die. Yeah. Uh, no, he's no, removing one. Yeah, he's, he's removing it himself. Right. His agility Because the only way drops. you can rotate is if you close foils, correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, his agility drop, which means he's just sort of accepting that Leia's gone. There or, you go. Yeah. yeah. So you, you cannot rotate unless you drop, you, unless you drop unless, agility. Unless he's going to try and pilot skill kill that uh, Tempest. Yeah. Okay. So, so it would have been super cute that for Christian would have been a 2K. Yeah. Actually, the 2K would have been adorable. I don't think they have a 2K. They do. They, they do have a 2K? 2 no. Yeah, they oh gained a 2K. What can't this gave, ship do? It can't go one forward. That's and it, it can't die. And I think that's it. Yeah, it doesn't go one forward. Ugh. And it doesn't do hard ones and twos. That's barely a hindrance. It doesn't do hard ones and twos. Oh, no. I'm but it does so have sad. <laughs> <laughs> Seven Sister coming in. Just it also doing gained shield thing. upgrade and engine upgrade. Don't just stop talking to me about the well, I mean, defender. it's a million De points. I hate the defender. It's a million points. Stupid defenders. Gorgeous, Keep in mind that I defenders. just got rocked by this exact defender at the beginning of yesterday. So I have no sympathy for this defender whatsoever. I wish it would just die. In fact, <laughs> if it could maybe just park itself on the rock for like three turns in a row, that'd be perfect. Yeah. So Seven Sister seven coming sister in for coming the kill. In, yeah. She's like a raptor. She's like oh, a little, she is. Like a little like a peregrine she falcon. Is. And does she have full force yeah. now? Yeah, she does. So crack shots open. Benthic yeah. is, or excuse me, Hef is probably dead. Yeah, he's hosed. Yeah. 5K nice. from Jake. Ooh. That's spicy. Ooh. He's going to get his... Nice. Nice maneuver. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's lovely. That fits in everything. He's, he's got a great shot here. He can still pull some Jake shenanigans if he wants. I think he might focus to give himself the barrel roll and to get his crack well, he, shot active. No, he, he can't do anything else. Like, he 5K. That's it. He's stressed. Leia. Oh, Leia. Everybody's oh, favorite princess. Everyone for, oh, Leia. Ooh. Oh, man. Okay, I am now re-appreciating how awesome that maneuver was. Yeah, it's a beautiful turn. Aaron's definitely got some reps in with this. Yeah, list. He's showing the skill is there. It's just yeah. he's had a bit of unfortunate dice luck at times, but also he's playing Christian, one of the yeah, and making me feel rusty as well. So as heck, it's a corker so far. Whew. So that's why Aaron's just discussing through himself his own decision tree. Does he barrel roll? Folk, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, and yep. then he gives himself bullseye. Gives himself a focus. Yeah, actually, he, he, still he loses bullseye. His... 
My Does he apologies. still have his crack? Yeah, yeah, Jake still has his crack. That's but he great. doesn't get bulls out with that barrel. My mistake. No. Yeah. No. I, I always misjudge just how far you travel and how yeah. small the range is for bullseye. Mm-hmm. I mean, its name makes sense. It is a bullseye, right? So. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I like I like what they did with crack in that regard. It's like it's... Uh... <laughs> okay, who's this? Uh... So... <laughs> Sorry, we're just laughing at uh, the table talk going on right now. Aaron emphatically asking Christian to just stop rolling paint already. <laughs> it's getting ridiculous. Now, is this the Seven Sister of the Defender shooting? I think it's the Seven Sister, but I'm not certain. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's the Seven Sister. So, yeah, Seven Sister is going to... So what happened was is... Benthic died. Uh, yeah, Benthic had two hull uh, left. Ha, he had, ha, uh, Hef. He Hef had, died. Yeah, because he, ta- he had two damage left. Christian rolled two hits. He yep. had both his forces left. So yeah. even if... Oh, the, and he spent those two forces, by the way. Yeah, well, even if Hef was able to roll an evade, which he did, yep. Seven Sister can then use both her force tokens because she removes the evade, so she doesn't last. Yeah. What it's very, sh- very good. What a ship. My goodness. I mean, look, we've seen her value for 43 points <laughs> twice already in this game. <sighs> No, nah, that defender had a shot, did she not? Or did... No. no. Are, I guess they already rolled it. Well... It looks like he had a shot on Jake. But we're in, we're into the uh, Jake shot, I believe. So that probably was just a whiff. Just correcting board state. They f- yep. uh, forgot that the Tempest did have a focus and Seven Sister did have a focus. Oh, is that a... Are they discussing a downtown shot on that defender? Yeah. They are. I don't know. Yeah. The two dice is primary. It's not worth it on the defender, even at range three. You know, I'd have considered going after that seven sister just for the extra dice. Yeah, but maybe. this is why I'm not at the top table. Well, he's also trying to get points. Yeah. Which, at this point, he desperately needs. Yeah. And Benthic has a good shot on the defender, too, so... All right, uh, yeah. number three shooting into ha- uh, yeah. Benthic. Into, yeah, Benthic. Thank you, weapons failure. <laughs> yep, shooting That is back. the definition of a pea shooter. He's a yep. weapons failure, so he's got one die. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's there we Aaron go. Needs. Hit, hit, crit. Aaron needs this to go through. Aaron really needs this to go through. Oh. I think that might be his end. <laughs> At least he eats the crit, but he got two evades. <laughs> oh, so it's a uh, disabled power regulator. Oh, jeez. So that guy is kind of screwed. <laughs> He's sitting on one health, one gun. He's taking an eye on next turn. Oh. He's irrelevant as his, he is as irrelevant as is possible. <sighs> Man. Now, that's that's stress sitting up behind that seven sister. Who is that on? That's is, seven sister stress. That's Okay. Yeah. Okay, Which think, means Bentha could just as easily stop and... I'll just unload, but unload without mods though, because yeah. now he's got no tricks. Yeah, like any efficiency slash rebel synergy list. Once you start to lose key pieces, well, no, not true. I mean, this seven sister is moving ahead of Jake. Yeah, Jake hard ones in. Yeah, barrel true. rolls gives well he gives hard ones a, a two focus. He hard ones into a hard shares one there. that. Right. So this tempest is the is a passive sensors one. So yeah. he won forwards passive sensors. His arc is there, um, so I don't think I don't think that uh, number four Tempest can block that because where you want to be is exactly where the seven sister is. So if you think a two a hard two would fit in there, it might for Jake. Yeah, if seven sister wasn't there, I it's close. Yeah. I mean, hey, I didn't think the three Talon would fit, so I'm not judging anything. In this yeah, game. no, and our perspective, like our her, a little, uh, little skewed, our judgment and viewpoint is skewed. So uh, yeah. don't. There is a reason we're not on these tables, folks. Yeah, I, that's why I'm commentating. <laughs> it's much more fun to watch better players than I play and oh, call goodness. their games. I mean, I wouldn't mind being on this table, but yeah, I, to- <laughs> I totally get you. I totally get it. <laughs> uh, where is this defender going? Uh, like, uh, like, do you have a shot? Do you... No, I think you threw. Well, the three bank is dangerous on that rock. Do you just hard three and try not to block the seven sister. I think yeah, this guy goes here. You hard three here, so you can four K and come oh, back. Oh no, in I was thinking like, now. do you do you come up this way? 
try and get yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, it all depends, right? He's got options. It depends on what, what Christian wants to do here with yeah. the seventh sister. Well, I think the defender at this point, he wants him to be a hammer, but Christian's not really short of hammers either. But so. he's also so up on points that it doesn't matter. Ooh, oh, this okay. is interesting. Oh, I think I know what he's doing. I think he's going to try and set up like a... Oh, no, never mind. Um... Well, I just he's just trying to keep that chip alive. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. And and true to, yeah, and, one bank like I said, yeah, I like yeah. that. Is it a block though? No, I think he's f safe. Oh, well, now we uh, don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. All right, yeah, a little bit of a jostle. Yeah, passive sensor called. Okay, so just turning, like you said, turning yep. with the U wing. Yep, flip his folds and turn. So I guess he's trying to go all into that uh, Tempest. Well, that's the one that's the, that's damaged. Yeah. Uh, oh no, that's not. No, it's, it's not. Only one uh, shield. That's the one with uh, the two, the one shield still. Yeah. But then, with that in mind, what is Jake gonna do? Maybe a sloop or something. Yeah. So the actual question okay. that I'm I don't remember about this, it's my own vaguity. When you um when you rotate when you are bumped to somebody, are you still touching? I think so. Because you're still at range zero. I don't know. There's remember if you're side by side when you bump and then the next turn you guys both do the same speed maneuver, you're no longer bumping. Wait, what are we talking about? I thought we so were talking on about the this Ewing. Yeah. They were bumped, but now he's rotated. Yeah. So when you rotate, if someone's bumping you, are you still technically touching? And, and now to me, I think yes. I mean, you might be at range zero. Maybe you don't bump, but the, you're still at range zero. Because well, isn't, isn't there now a difference between range zero and, uh, and bumping? Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of differences. Okay, so Seven Sister getting, doesn't move. This is getting cute. All right. This is getting a little tight. I there. actually kind of thought she'd be slooping out of there. Assuming she has a sloop. She was stressed. Oh, right. Okay. And Aaron probably really wishes also this did a hard one as well. instead of Benthic. All those all those uh bumps that just happened there. Yeah, he would have had target luck focus with this Oof. point. He would have been all modded up. Yeah. Oh wait, no, not with the stress. Because I think it's not a like Oh, you're right, the reactions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was a nice little All right. cluster truck. That's a boondoggle. Okay. Man. I haven't seen a traffic jam like this since, well, rush hour, which is one this of Christian like Volt's signature lists. Defender preparing to unload into Jake. Yeah, range one. Here we come. Yeah, oh, yeah. All the dice. Cripple out. <laughs> now this is this is a frustrating habit that Christian has. He has a habit to just never roll blanks and just to always get yep. paint. I, I yep. think it's the way he 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 has this mallet <coughs> shuffling technique. He, you can always hear him shuffling anywhere in a tournament because you he know, shuffles so I, loud. I think I, I saw Jackie's luck on the uh, prize table. I think I know where it went. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, another PTL member, yeah, who has the most incredible dice I've ever unless ever, he's at ever a tournament. Seen. Okay, I've I haven't been to a they're tournament really bad for okay. tournaments. Really, okay. yeah, they never never when he needs them to be good. Well, oh, geez, that that's my problem with them. I, I'm See, always playing hear, casual. You can hear Christian yeah, shuffling you... in our mics. Jeez, they can hear him outside. I'm telling you, it's his mallet hand technique. <laughs> it's something about it. He just never. He hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh look! Look at that. There we go. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Oh man, the table the, talk is too much. We're reacting All right. to the fun table talk. That looks like the end of Jake. <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> They're all just I think we, is I think we reacting have, to We the, have entered the realm of casual. <laughs> the over death that Christian just put on his poor ship. And hope. <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't All even right. take damage there. Nope, nothing. Because because it's a defender. Yeah.
thinking, Aaron is done.